Hello again, friends. I was speaking to someone the other day about why we bother to put up these little videos every day. I mean, they're pretty similar in some ways each day, aren't they? Well, here's the reason. We believe that God's word is full of life and truth. And that as the Bible tells us, if we will hide God's word in your hearts, we won't sin against him. You might know the familiar verses. I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. So one of our first purposes is for all of us to get to know what God's word actually says. We speak about it. We put the words up on the screen so we can read it. And I really do encourage all of us to go even further than the very few verses we're able to mention in the five or six minutes that we spend together. But even more important, or at least equally important to knowing what God's word says, is having it come to life in our hearts. Jesus told us, you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It's way too easy to forget what God has called us to live with all of the competing agendas and sounds around us. We need to be reminded of the simple basics of life that God says work. They're all found in God's word. and They're the way of freedom for us that we so long to know. We chase down all sorts of other paths for contentment and freedom. Jesus clear, clearly tells us that we'll only experience true freedom when we're living under his truth. Well, that's motivation for me to know and do what God says. There are many simple summaries of what God says about how we are to live our lives. And Jesus' dear friend John put it this way. We must believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who obey God's commandments remain in fellowship with him and he with them. You know, there's no life for us in what we read in the Bible or hear talked about if we don't surrender our lives to God, invite Jesus to forgive our sins, and then welcome the Holy Spirit to teach us about God's will and give us the power to live it. One of my favorite verses has always been from Philippians 2.13, which says God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. I have to tell you, I read some things in the Bible or I get in the middle of some situation and it's like there's nothing in me that wants to do what's right, what God tells us to do. And I have to pray that God will work in me to even make me want to do the right thing, let alone have the power to carry it out. But here's the part that really motivates me to spend these moments with you, taking God's word and putting it right into our prayers. We're invited, well, even more than that, we're instructed actually, to come to God with our requests, to seek his will, and to believe that when we ask of him certain things that are on our hearts, that he will answer us. Well, I can't think of anything that's more on God's heart than the things that he tells us matter to him. So our simple little structure from day to day is just to take God's own word in a simple way, take a minute to think about what it's saying, and then speak to God about those very words and ask God to make them live in us. So each day for, as you know, just about five minutes, that's what we're doing, trusting that God will draw us closer to his heart as we welcome him into all we're doing, all we are, all we're wondering about, all we need for this day to be successful. Well, let's do it. Once again today, loving God, we're bringing our wills and our lives to you because we can't do life on our own. We've come to believe that you are the power above all powers, the God above all gods, the Lord of all lords, who alone can give us life and maintain that life in us. Speak your words of life to us, in us, and through us today. We welcome your voice, Holy Spirit, to guide us in all truth and to empower us to live what we've read and trust God for all he's said. Amen. Let's live with God's word. Let's live in God's word. And let's let God's word live in us today, shall we? Let's have a great day.